Say this, God expects me to prosper and be in health. Does God expect that for you? That's his expectation. God has an expected end. Well, not only does he have an expected end, he has and must have, if you can think here, he must have an expected way for you to get to that expected end. Wouldn't it be ridiculous for him to have an expected end and not have a way for you to get there? But I said it is God's plan for every child of God to own their own business. And you can receive that or not. If you don't receive it, I feel bad for you. If you do receive it, guess what? You're stepping. Listen, you're stepping into the plan of Almighty God for you. If you can hear that, you are stepping into the plan of Almighty God. If you're not hearing it, then I'm going to try to help you a little bit more today. But if you don't hear that, then you probably won't ever get into the plan of Almighty God for your life. You'll just keep spinning your wheels and you won't be the head and not the tail. You'll be somewhere in between. You're going to have to do the, ex the plan that gets you to the expected end. If you don't do the plan that gets you to the expected end, don't blame God. There is a recognized way of getting wealth in Scripture that doesn't just rely on you sitting and waiting for a cow to bring you a bag of money. God's plan for every child of God is wealth. We've got to get over that first, you understand. God's plan, say this, God's plan, God's plan. For, every for every child of God, child of God. Is, wealth. is wealth. That's me. That's me. Say, that's me. that's me. What's God's plan for you? Wealth. He has an expected end. That's the expected end. He has a way to get you there. He has a scriptural, recognized way within Scripture, 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 to get you there if you do it not slothful in business mm -hmm. say in business. in business is this in your Bible yeah. but is it possible to serve the Lord in business yeah. only if you're going to read your Bible and do it <laughs> only if you're going to get to the expected end by doing what God tells you to do he has an expected end for you but you have to be not slothful in business whose business your business but every child of God should own their own business first Thessalonians 4 11 says learn be quiet and learn to do your own business learn say learn, learn. To, do to do my own, my own business, business. Well, what if I don't know how to do business what if I don't want to be in business well, then you've got some learning to do taking up the word of the Lord that's coming you today that says that God has a plan for you an expected end and the way to get to that expected end is to be in your own business the head and not the tail boss of your own domain like God gave Adam engaging in business is part of your calling engaging in business is part of your calling what yeah I know maybe I'm just supposed to preach I don't care if you are a preacher then you've got business to do it takes money to buy satellite time airtime all of these things to build buildings right yep. all of those things are about business and most of that should come from 10 percent imagine the amount of money that God wants to put into business when God wants to put into his ministry that's just 10 percent of the amount of money you are supposed to own and control and be Lord over Did you get that all of the things that God wants to do in the earth is only 10 percent say 10 percent the other 90 percent is yours to engage in business is part of your calling wouldn't it have to be God's expected end for you is wealth but he has an expected way to do it he has a plan listen to engage in business is part of your calling doing business like seed time and harvest is a law built into the earth business principles like seed time and harvest are hardwired into the earth you work with it or against it to your own benefit or failure if you learn to do business you are lining yourself up with God's plan for an expected end I've showed you you need to mind your own business but there's an anointing to do business that takes you just beyond book learning and principles and concepts because people can in the natural do principles and concepts that come directly out of this Bible and have a successful business but if you're doing those and you have the anointing on you yeah. then watch out 
Joseph was not only wise in the way he treated things but he was anointed to do it we are all called every child of God is called to own their own business now listen I have some things that I can say to you I can help you there you know I'm anointed to say this today one way is to start with somebody else to work for somebody else until you learn that business another way is to start and maybe fail after failing say failing failing, failing is part of learning be a failure I failed I'm a failure no you're not a failure what you learn something out of that failure but you got to start where you're at a moving car is easier to turn than one that's stationary so you start where you're at say start, start. Where, I'm at. where I'm at to engage in business is part of your calling it's part of everybody's calling I'm gonna say something here it's 90% of your calling listen to me some of you will never enter into the real call on your life until you get the business side straight those who learn to buy and sell effectively open a door for God to multiply riches in your hands and if you're not a businessman and you're not with your eye on buying and selling knowing that that's the way God's gonna get a million dollars to you then you're gonna miss it because you're still waiting for the golden cow with a golden bag full of golden coins who what kind of people are aware of business opportunities business people people that are good at buying and selling things every child of God should own their own business and in doing business is part of your calling and if you don't do this part of your calling God can't get you to the expected end I hope you heard that but so many times Jane we don't even know what we're looking for and if we're thinking that it's got to come some other way and God's trying to give you the business idea and the business acumen to do what you need to do but you won't put your foot through that door you won't start it then where are you gonna be somewhere in the middle God's trying to get you to the head and not the tail you get that it seems like uh, God couldn't be involved in that God is involved in that that is God's plan for all of his children it's 90% of his plan for all of his children we can preach prosperity to a blue in the face but if we don't show people how to put their foot into the stream that's gonna take them to the prosperity then we're never gonna get there because we're trying to leave it in this es esoteric world of God just wanting you to be wealthy well God's got a way for you to be wealthy and most of the time predominantly it's by being a business person say this I, I am a business, am a business person, person. And frankly it's your number one calling and then he's your business partner is this your calling yes it is your calling it's every child of God's calling to own their own business know that this is God's will for you oh help me Holy Ghost to get this across today this is God's will for you he does have ministry for you but this is his number one plan his will for you is to be successful a successful businessman or successful businesswoman God wants every child of God to be millionaires the glory of this latter house is going to be greater so is it going to come in some other way no it's still going to come in this anointing to do business I hope you heard that the glory of this latter house will come in an anointing that will help people do business and prosper them and the glory will be greater than the former house father thank you for this message in Jesus name we receive it we commit to be the people that you called us to be we thank you for it say this after me father, father. In, Jesus name, in Jesus name I commit, I commit to, be to be a business person in the earth, in the earth. And, look and look forward and expect, and expect your, blessing your blessing on my hands, on my hands. Making, me the making me the head and not the tail and, not the tail. and together we will take over, will take over and, fill and fill this earth with your glory, with your glory. In, Jesus name. in Jesus name amen, amen.